Hi and welcome to the show. Sorry. This is family friendly. Hallo und willkommen zu 3 Minuten Johann. Ja. Und now the news. Ja. Yeah! The WWDC 2018. At the developers conference on Monday, Apple announced all the new software you're gonna get if you're an Apple user. Sorry, Apple loser. But no new phones or devices. I, I know, I shouldn't have expected it because it's a developers conference and all, but I wanted to see some hardware, you know, to make fun of. They talked a lot about AR and all the new features, like a native measuring app that can measure 3D objects. This can be right. I... The new FaceTime that can make group calls to up to 32 people, so you can annoy all your friends with one call. The new group notifications that stack your notifications in groups. Also, group fuck. No, no, it's. Yeah, sorry, wrong conference. <clears throat> also, they presented the new tongue detection. What? Yeah, so that your monkey and emoji can stick its tongue out. Okay, but why would you make a special section in the conference just for this? Then we have Mimoji, which is a copy of AR emoji, which is a copy of an emoji. So it's okay. Yes. If you copy a copy of your copy, then it's okay. Right? Is that right? A new macOS is rolling out called Mojave and it will have dark mode. Ooh. This is so new for Apple. Other OSs had it for years. <sighs> Apple, you racist SOB. Also a new watchOS and iOS 12, which will be available this fall on all devices down to iPhone 5S, which I think is very cool to support your phones for this long. See Android? And let's hope this iOS fixes all the bugs and glitches that iOS 11 had. There were more stuff announced in the two hour conference, but there's nothing to get too excited about. We'll just have to wait until September for all the new Apple products. Well, this sucks. I wanted to make fun of the new Apple products. <sighs> I'll just have to play with the stupid tape measure app. Oh damn it! A gaming phone from Asus. Bearing the Republic of Gaming branding, the new gaming smartphone from Asus is yet another attempt to make mobile gaming a thing. This is the second phone made specifically for gaming, the first one being the Razer phone, and the specs are maxed out. I mean, just, just look at them. Just look. I don't understand how they can put so much power in a phone. It comes with an aeroactive cooler that can be used to cool down the device while you play with the full power of the phone, but the accessories don't stop there. You can get the gamepad setup that resembles the Nintendo Switch, a widget dock to wirelessly stream your game on a TV, or the twin view dock that turns your gaming experience into a two display setup with extra controls and a 6000 milliamp battery. And you can even get a dock that connects your phone to a display, mouse and keyboard so you can use it as a PC, just like the Galaxy. Galaxy S9 and S8. We don't have a release date or a price yet, but it's expected this fall and it will cost a lot of money, money, money. But if you like gaming and you have so much free time that you can play games even when you're not home at your PC or console, get a f job! Unless that is your job, in, in which case I apologize. Yeah, good advice from good old John. <laughs> True bezel-less display from Lenovo? We never talked about Lenovo on this show because they never tickled my interest. 
until now. Last week, the internet was all hyped up because Lenovo teased all of us with pictures of a bezel-less phone just a few days before their keynote in China. And I stayed up all night to see the live conference and the unveil of the Lenovo Z5, the first true bezel-less phone with no chin and no notch. <laughs> The conference had no subtitles. But it didn't matter. I wanted to see the breakthrough phone. The phone that will shame all the iPhone X copies. And it was the same. It had a notch and a chin. I stayed up all night for a notch. Ah! All they did in the keynote is to show that their notch is smaller than your average notch. Just look at our notch, it's so much smaller. Or as the guy on the stage said, This is maybe one of the few moments where you can brag of how small is your thing. The smaller the better. Also he was Chinese and I heard they have small notches. Maybe I'm Chinese too. But why? Why? Why in Liam Neeson's name would you tease people with a bezel-less phone just before the event and then disappoint everyone? Why? Now, everyone hates you. I hate you. This is like me telling you guys that next week I'm gonna do this show naked and then just make it the same. Wouldn't that be disappointing? But you know what? I'm not Lenovo. I don't disappoint and I'm not gonna do it next week. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do it right now. There you go. You're welcome. What's with the pixels? This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John and until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers! Chuck, why won't you look at me? Do you think I'm disgusting? L look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Jesus. I don't look that bad. I mean, I... Okay, I might look... Ah... <laughs> uh... Yeah, at least I got a big tongue.